how to clean your host liberator extractor vac and keep it in tip top shape. Be sure to unplug the machine before cleaning for safety reasons. Lay the machine on its side to access the bottom of the machine. Remove the skirt like this. Release the end cover by turning this small ring. It will pop up so you can remove the end cover. Lower the cord guard and remove the brushes. You can use one of the brushes to assist in cleaning the underside of the hood, the vac shoe, and the cord guard. Later, when you replace the brushes, you will note that we will flip them end to end. This keeps the bristles from taking a set and improves pile lifting and evac performance. Use a separate vacuum to clean up and remove the dirt, the used host and debris from the hood and the vac shoe. Now replace the brushes. Be sure to flip them end to end, as shown, for long life and better performance. Lift the cord guard and turn the brushes like this. This will keep the guard in place for easy replacement of the end cover. You may need to turn the brush shafts slightly so they seat properly. Press the end cover down and push the ring down and twist to lock. Replace the skirt. Stand the machine up and plug it in. Use the Liberator Vac to clean out the hose and the elbow connection. Remove the hose like this. Place the lower end into the upper connection. Turn on the vacuum switch and using your fingers, clean out the debris in the elbow. Then use the crevice tool to clean out the lower hose connection like this. Replace the crevice tool and put the hose in its proper position. Now clean the filters. Release the two latches and swing the top to the side. Use a separate vacuum to vacuum the mesh side of the filter first and then the filter side. Do this for each filter. Then vacuum the top of the separator, remove it, and vacuum the underneath side. Use a slightly damp towel to wipe it off. And wipe out the center cone area as well. You can wipe them off with the towel as well. Replace the filters. Orange first, then black. Now flip the filter housing and vacuum the foam filter and the white fine particle filter. Don't wash the filters. They will last longer if you just vacuum them thoroughly as shown. Replace the filters and the housing. Vacuum the caddy, and then replace the machine in the caddy. Empty the hopper and vacuum it out. Use a towel to wipe it clean. Now your Liberator is ready for the next time you need to use it. For more information, visit our website at www dot hostdry dot com